Hi, this is Jack from Telesimia and me here at home to give you an audio blog, a podcast. Mainly want to answer some question that I should be asked during an interview. And if you want to watch the interview, by the way, it's a three, over three minutes a video. It's now on YouTube on Telesimia and me video blog. It's on the video before this you can watch it uh, anytime uh, when you are free that and on I'm going to talk about more uh, more in details uh, later on in this podcast and I also want to talk uh, more about the my life career uh, situation uh, my uh, my this uh, career as uh, this uh, private hire uh, how is it going on now I, I am home now just get back from driving a uh, whole day so I actually want to record this podcast tomorrow because tomorrow I'm actually uh, taking half day off I collect the car full day but I'm uh, in the morning I'm going with my mom to eat and also going to this uh, giant hypermarket uh, this supermarket to get some uh, Chinese New Year's uh, stuff, some drinks, uh, from food uh, to eat during New Year because uh, during Chinese New Year a lot of shop uh, may not be open and it's good to uh, keep some food uh, every year, uh, all Chinese do that uh, so go. tomorrow I'm uh, only driving after 1pm uh, afternoon like that. so in the morning I will go with my mom to eat, eat first eat uh, little breakfast with lunch then uh, go supermarket and uh, talk this do the <coughs> this uh, podcast in the car uh, before I drive my mom but anyway now I'm free now it's uh, today is the 22nd of January uh, 8 30 p.m. I just eat my dinner have some free time uh, my mom is not back yet so I thought take this time to do uh, podcast this podcast i will upload it next week as this week is already the uh, chinese new year uh, period tomorrow on the thursday is already the day before chinese new year eve so on friday chinese new year eve is to chinese is already the chinese new year already and also friday on the eve uh, I, I have to work <laughs> i have to drive so I do not have a uh, time whole day been driving and also on uh, Sunday which is the second day of uh, Chinese New Year and uh, Saturday I'm off and you may think why am I off? isn't it I'm renting the car I have to drive every day? no that's the, not the case uh, for now which I want to update you because uh, I'm actually not renting a car anymore uh, to for my private hire I'm actually a, a relief driver so I'm a relief driver and not the main driver there's a main driver uh, I'm sharing a sharing a car with the main driver uh, to drive and he is an Indian a really nice guy about 40 years old guy he only drive a, a, a little at night lah. so because he have a daytime job uh, that starts like 9 a.m. to about 6 something uh, p.m. so the daytime he let me drive la. so I drive uh, from 9 a.m. to about 6.37 uh, 7 p.m. I uh, will pass him the car so about 10 hours la, on a regular basis Monday to Thursday then uh, Friday let me collect the car early at his place which his place is just near his work like he can uh, take bus there but but he morning like to drive uh, to work so he, he just drive to work like I don't uh, I don't bother uh, to take the car early from him because he's the main driver he need to drive to work let him be 9 a.m. I can drive to uh, 7 p.m. and Friday I collect the car early la, for collect the car like 6.30 before 7 uh, if I collect the car early I will drive my mom to work then I start work la. start work like 8 uh, a.m. to the same time about 7 p.m. 6.30 I stop uh, picking up passengers 7 p.m. I return the car 
and Sunday Saturday he will be driving the whole day Sunday is my turn I collect the car early and I can drive till around 8 p.m. lah so I have a whole day on Sunday that's good and sometimes because Saturday I can have one all day off like work six days a week uh, one day off uh, he will be driving that off day because Saturday sometimes got uh, like gathering or got some event I can attend like classes uh, transfusion I can attend too if I want to but I uh, usually for transfusion I come on Monday because uh, Monday is the last less busy day so I choose to come for my blood transfusion on uh, Monday now uh, every three weeks on the Monday unless I have uh, blood transfusion that, that week and see doctor then I come on the, the Friday so I only why I'm doing this because I uh, because I can take off uh, to for blood transfusion and for my own uh, personal uh, leisure I can take one day off on Saturday I don't have to work every day if I rent a car I have to drive every day to cover the renter and also this uh, season parking uh, all this uh, responsibility that you have to take uh, if you are renting your own car so I'm temporarily going for that uh, I'm, uh, I drive weekdays lah, uh, Monday to Friday and also Sunday, six days a week. Mm. Unless I have blood transfusion, and Monday I would, would take off. Uh, just let the my the, this main driver let uh, know in advance. And this the, the rental is only twenty five lah, so I can make uh I can earn more lah with that. If I if I own my own car to unless I ran up to another relief driver lah, I, otherwise I will. I will have, uh, have to drive more lah, uh, which is more more hours on the road. So I prefer this way is good lah, morning to evening. And after the after my shift, he he's uh, nice enough to drive me back because his workplace is near my house. Uh, his house is actually near my house too lah, twenty minute bus ride. His uh, workplace is about 15-20 minute bus ride, direct bus ride. So it's uh, really inco- convenient. La. So I, it's a nice guy. La. So uh, continue with him. La. And he like me also la, because I always, uh, sometimes got water. I give him, I pay, pay him on time and take care of his car, rented car. La. So far, no problem on the road. Uh, I'm now uh, not only drive Grab, I only also drive uh, this Gojek. Uh, Grab and <coughs> Gojek is the uh, the biggest lah, the top two uh, this uh, private hire uh, service company in Singapore. Gojek, why I join is because they have like incentive lah, like sometimes they have uh, like points uh, s- uh, scheme, like uh, points when you hit the points like uh, thirty five, sixty, hundred. Uh, points you get like additional additional cash on top of your basic fare lah. so let's say we hit 60 point uh, hit 60 point you get additional eh, hit 50 point you get additional 60 dollar and you hit 100 point you get additional 200 lah. so my highest record is uh, one Sunday I hit uh, 500 dollar <laughs> like and, uh, after Renter and petrol, I managed to uh, bring back about uh, 420 la. That's my because that time they have an incentive la. And my driving hour is like the time is like uh, 7 o'clock, that's 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. La, about 12 hour. I stop maybe one hour la, uh, in between for lunch like that. But I managed to hit the the incentive additional 200 on top of my this uh, about $300 fare so I get like $500 just on that day of a Sunday uh, but they do not have the, always have this incentive like sometimes the trip but uh, usually not qualified for that it's not it's not worth I uh, usually drive grab like, weekdays unless they have uh, this incentive uh, package then I will uh, drive go jack but I joined Gojek as well. It's a re- just send in the document and you can uh, be a partner 
driver of the Gojek is really uh, simple. I just notice I speak a lot of la at the end of each word or sentence, like I drive a lot la. I'm so used to speak that way and manner that sometimes like automatic uh, come out. It's like you you won't even know. It's like uh, un- without much control and uh, filter, you re- really don't know until you listen back and they say, "Oh, it's like really irritating, <laughs> hurting that uh, sometimes." Uh, but to you all, it's fine. I hope you all uh, accept the way I'm saying. Because it's like talking to a a buddy like that, a friend. It's like really don't need much management of the. The w- every word I'm saying is just like uh, speaking casually like that. So, uh, hope you all, uh, hope you all understand. The car that I'm sharing with the other driver was an uh, Toyota Atis. It's a 1.6 uh, 2010 uh, manufactured car. It's a pretty new uh, external and interior. I really like driving that. Uh, prefer that to the ad- to all the car I have drive. I drive like Honda Fit, uh, Nis- Nissan, Lotus, Latus, and also the the Honda Vios. I think it's better, easier to control, and you feel more comfortable driving than the Toyota Vios. And the petrol, I think, is still slightly better than Toyota Vios, uh, which I which is a good car as well. All the Toyota is a quality car, but Toyota at this now I'm driving is a r- r- really smooth. Uh, but then the disadvantage is uh, like every three uh, three thousand kilometer around there, it requires you know, additional uh, engine engine oil, meaning like every around three thousand kilometer run uh, you need to uh, you need to top up a bottle of the this uh, engine oil all those like fourteen dollar at the petrol station you can get it and it's just, and it's uh, deduct it can be deducted from the renter but yeah uh, sometimes I do help to uh, top up um, from the way we consume uh, I mean we drive the car that mile that mileage is uh, every week we have to have to uh, use up a, a bottle of the engine oil. So sometimes uh, the driver busy, I will help to uh, top up uh, the engine oil. It's really easy. Uh, just open the, the front cover, open the engine, this uh, cover thing, just pour it in. And it's like, uh, it's like you feel that it's not automatic, forever won't fool like that because it's like suck right in the bottom, it suck all the water or the oil uh, right below uh, and I usually pay the the renter lah, uh, to the driver then the right the uh, the main driver will settle with the, the rental company it is the next day Thursday morning I now in the car just got a little breakfast before I came here a curry puff and a pack of coffee uh, having eaten before I go to fetch my mom to the giant hypermarket to get some groceries and have our lunch there. Switching gear now to talk about my appearance on the Mediacorp Channel 8 TV show. It is called the Front Line. Qian Xian Zui Zhong. It is broadcasted, uh, not live, but pre uh, on TV every Friday 8.30 p.m. And it's also live stream at the same time on Toggle.sg, T-O-G-G-L-E.sg. And so it's a pre- now you can review it on Toggle.sg or it is also uploaded on uh, their YouTube channel, 8 World News. So you can uh, watch it there as well. It is a 30 minute kind of TV show, uh, including commercial, after commercial about 20 minutes. Broadcasting all the the latest event happening in town, like Chinese New Year, they kind of interview store. If they are talking about the increase in prices of the this uh, Chinese New Year goods, they will interview like store owners, uh, ask them talk about thing. Then they kind of interview the people on the street and also ask like professional like those who do 
business owner about that those that uh, specialist about that topic same goes with my episode uh, that I'm on the talk basically the video talk shows my life as a patient where it's the video starts of me you know working out in the park and also after that it's like uh, they, they, they coming to my house uh, to, to interview while having breakfast and also my this uh, my career now driving uh, working as a private hire driving a pri driving grab and also my blood transfusion trip and they the reason why it's only three minute plus maybe they in, they have an interview with another family they have like similar blood disorder it's not thalassemia but it's also like blood disorder that require blood but and also they interview some specialists on the the topic thalassemia trying to explain this topic uh, to the public then uh, the app that, that's just part of it the main sh main uh, segment for that show is the Chinese New Year of course mine is at the last the second portion is uh, is the other family uh, story and the the beginning of the show is the Chinese New Year about the rising the surging uh, prices of some certain uh, this uh, f food this year the reason why I'm on this TV show is that this producer or the person in charge of this program Frontline contacted Red Cross Singapore uh, saying their intention they can uh, they want to film something like a blood encourage blood donation uh, video then Red Cross surely agree right? but they need a volunteer to do that so they kind of uh, the first person to think of is me of course because I always help them, I, that's one of the few, very few patients who is willing to help to be uh, to be recognized on TV because most patients are scared to be to be known as a thalassemia patient uh, to be recognized on the street which never happens never, I've not, never been uh, recognized because, because of that uh, so they contacted me and uh, talk about the proposal so without much thinking I agree with that I thought it's a, just a short one day few hour kind of filming uh, for the show but then it uh, drag out to be uh, two days two days uh, first day they film of me they come to my house and film of me uh, taking breakfast uh, what what do I eat and uh, during while I eating they kind of ask me question and also after that they, they feel me packing to leave for blood transfusion the thing I bring for blood transfusion which is not out on the show and later after the filming at my house after I pack the stuff then we go straight to the SGH to film the blood transfusion trip I have my cross match then they waited the two hours for my blood to come then they film uh, some of the scene that you saw on the video that's uh, just the first day then uh, about I think noon afternoon they kind of leave every 11 or 12 a.m. after they film what they want what they got what they wanted and uh, they say they want to schedule another day which is uh, the, the next Monday after my transition which they they come to my house they say they want to film they want to add on some shot some scene of my this medical bill they want to just to film my expression or reaction or something of me looking through my medical bill like looking just look at the paper left to right like that top to bottom but then also they want to add on this which I'm very happy they want to add on me browsing the my website thalassemia and me dot com so I'm very happy but it's not out of course after filming the home scene uh, we go downstairs they want to film some shot of me driving the car because I'm, they talk about me dri driving as a private hire so I go and collect the car then I drive from the entrance to the drop uh, pickup point to pick up 
the, the Red Cross staff act as a, this a passenger then they film some scenes then we uh, I with the a, a cameraman go down to the street to film some view of the uh, well transit over the some voices talk about my condition uh, throughout the video then we headed to the park to film the exercise scenes that you saw in the beginning of the video then uh, after filming it's like 1 or 2 uh, p.m. another more than half day gone it's okay it's okay as long as it's broadcasted but it's not I mean most all the critical scene uh, film is not it's not broadcast I mean if you don't film if you if you don't want to broadcast then you don't film lah can't in now waste people type the CB word I mean waste people and the group time like people have high expectation of the the show being broadcast then it's not you know especially the I thought they they are going to you know help me to do some publicity of my website of me browsing telesimia and me dot com uh, but it's not Without much pointless ranting, let's get to the question that they asked me to prepare and will be asked during the interview, which some of it did, but only a few. First question, how was growing up with thalassemia like for you? How has it impacted you? Growing up as a thalassemia patient, I am less sociable. I don't make friends don't easily make friends i don't dare to make friends always feel that i'm different from other children my age like and a disability seeing like other children uh, you know physically fit and healthy able to go for their physical examination you know running around a long distance 2.4 kilometer and all the physical attempts and i'm only could play some games uh, during the uh, uh, this uh, PE physical examination or physical class once a month after school my dad have to drove me to the KK hospital to have my crotch match and also s s visit a doctor while other students uh, my classmate will be gathered planning to get gather together to the nearby mall to walk around shopping and have their lunch there every night most of the night have to undergo like uh, this horrible this desperate infusion and also take like many medicines question two you also set up a website for telesemia nine years ago why how has that helped you in the past so the reason I start off my website uh, before that was a blog uh, Telesimia and me blogspot.com uh, the blog is still there not posting anymore now it's a website Telesimia and me dot com by the way if you haven't already register uh, on the website register on the website it takes like one minute uh, to do so because I'm still posting and updating uh, stuff on there photos any news our uh, latest news on telesemia or gene therapy the cure i will be uh, updating on the new section as well it's free though so register if you haven't already but the purpose i created this is to, to educate on uh, the telesemia condition uh, the thing i'm going through the life of a telesemia patient because last time during my blood transfusion at kk hospital I will have like medical students come to me and uh, want to talk to me and want to understand more about this uh, telesemia condition not only verbally but also physically they want to feel my tummy uh, have an examination of my tummy and I let them do so but over time I start to get annoyed and uh, irritated because there have been too frequent every transfusion you encounter this start to get annoyed it's not like five minute conversation it's like sometimes go into one or two hours uh, the competition can up to plus like physical touch here touch there have you annoyed so i thought you know what i should create a, a book or you know a place for 
medical stu whether it's medical student to people who would like to know more about the condition can go online to browse through go to my URL to look for relevant uh, information sharing on my life as a telecemia patient maybe some of the experiences uh, I gone through in some ways could uh, help some younger patient who now could be going through some of the problem that I went through maybe in some ways can uh, encourage or uh, assist them in uh, getting through the tough times through this platform I really get to meet a lot of patient friends their family their parents uh, over the years and I try to help them if they have any question that uh, I know it myself every message or email uh, that I receive if I don't miss out any I do reply all the email you can see on my uh, go website you can see uh, mess contact me and there's some message or there's a lot more I didn't post there but I do reply to every uh, this uh, email or message that I receive as long as like not scam uh, anything regarding telecemia or my personal question uh, I would uh, answer I treat uh, everyone as like friends uh, in like in some of the niche they treat each another like enemies like hate, 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 hate each another I'm not doing that in fact will encourage you to uh, do you know you want to create a channel I help you to promote it even uh, or what, what I can do for you just tell me just send in an email I will do my best for you I can even collaborate with you if you plan to create a YouTube channel or you like to do anything together I'm most willing to uh, do so because it's not like we go to uh, live forever at some point we go to we, we're going to pass away uh, even earlier if you had not take, taken care of uh, for telecemia patient question three and four are pretty much connected i can answer it together uh, question three is how are you coping with this condition now and question four how do you keep fit do you have to watch your change your diet I'm coping with my condition uh, well. I would say uh, my condition has been uh, stable. I undergo a blood transfusion regularly without uh, missing any session for years, uh, even decades. I don't think I miss any uh, transfusion. I do maintain a healthy hemoglobin, uh, eight point something nine uh, before transfusion, and for my iron overload I have a proper chelation that I constantly consume every morning uh, three tablet of the 360 mg note and plus one tablet of the 90 mg tablet that I do watch and uh, I have a notebook I write the date after I consume and also take a note that I consume uh, for the day and make sure I don't miss any dose so far for one or two months I haven't missed a, a dose uh, yet before that I do miss uh, one or two in uh, one two weeks I do miss like uh, in a month at least one or two dose I have missed but so far I have uh, been watching that my iron level has reduced from the previous last year is uh, 2000 plus to now 1000 below 1005 uh, hope to be lowered to about 500 range but for my chelation itself might not be enough or it may take a longer time because I'm just uh, consuming a jade note now for my oral chelator other than those two I have uh, what the doctor asked ask me to go for I did go MRI once a year I did undergo uh, recently in the October time and uh, medicine I did take on time uh, I just taking uh, vitamin D folic acid this uh, tyroxine 25 mg now reduced now to 25 soon they, they might plan to take away so 
I do take it every morning, keep a note as well. And uh, that's for the my treatment part. Uh, MRI once a year and the blood test, those are those are not a uh, treatment, uh, they were the doctor will prescribe and I just go for it. Uh, will take my blood before my transfusion. And how do you keep fit? Do you have to watch or change your diet? I how do I keep fit? I I don't really keep fit but I do like exercise five minutes a day every morning and if I have the mood I will go swimming or cycling or just a doubt my downstairs have those like uh, light weight light exercise that I can uh, like pull up those I cannot do uh, I will do some sit up or those just just a uh, gymnastic thing I will just uh, you, you uh, put my hand and pull, pull myself up those kind of things or pull, pull up I will just hang myself there for 30 seconds <coughs> those kinds of uh, workout uh, I can do light dumbbell 5 10 kg that uh, no problem you can do so, so, sometimes and I walk I walk is also exercise I walk a lot every day at least close to 10,000 steps uh, each day so that might keep myself fit I have a good figure although skinny lah, but my figure is is uh is uh, it's, uh, it's okay lah. It's uh, average, slim but uh, fit lah. Look fit. Do you have to watch your or change your diet? No, no. I still eat as as I like to. I I can eat vegetarian food if I want. I eat it once in a while, but I still eat out. I try to eat more healthy food uh, now in my diet. Morning, I kind of eat those like cereal with a lot of twenty something loose nuts. I put hot water, stir, and drink it. Uh, it actually tastes not that bad. I sometimes do that. Sometimes eat outside food. Uh, most of the time, we eat outside food. Uh, to be honest, then uh, drink. I do drink green tea every day, most of the day. Coffee is two in one coffee. I drink. Uh, tea, I have uh, green tea, Chinese tea. Uh, then I uh, will consume a lot of like garlic, ginger, uh, all the natural herbs in my diet. Try to add on, and I consume, try to now consume fruits, add on fruits and vegetables in my diet as well. Most of the day, unless it's like not convenient to buy, then I uh, won't take. But at least five out seven days, I'll consume a lot of vegetables and uh, fruits. Uh, in my diet and I do do food reflexology I can meditate sometimes when, when I have the mood but it's harder for me to meditate it's uh, harder to calm my uh, body now to stay s focused on, with myself for the 20 minutes but I uh, do sleep the time do uh, medit close my eyes and rest on the bed I do food reflexologies and Yoga, I know a little bit. Sometimes I do in the morning, five minutes. Uh, and sometimes I do eat a lot of vegetables, so that's healthy. That's how. Don't need to change the diet. I still eat nonsense food, rubbish food, uh, some of the time, but not all the time. Question five: Because of these conditions, did you have a uh, have to give up some dreams or plan you have always wanted to do? Yes, if I wasn't have this condition, uh, telecemia, I think I will be an entrepreneur. I will go to you know, set up a store and figure out how you make uh, good food, how you sell food, uh, soup-based food, lah, most likely. Or oh, going to execute and uh, you know do something uh, on my own, on my own businesses, or like to be a salesperson, or, like realtor, agent that you can. Uh, can aim for more lah, make more money but that requires a lot of <laughs> traveling you know uh, a lot of a lot of hard work lah, right, that you have to travel around uh, now in the car it's like the car travel lah, I, uh, control the car will travel so if I don't have this condition I will also tra go traveling lah, long travel or go other country to look for opportunity jobs explore the world, uh, stay in other country, stuff like that. Question 6. 
what is your biggest wish ultimately <laughs> this question i think you and i know the answer better than anyone else is to get cured once and for all not only for ourselves as well as well as we wish every patient in the world or at least senior patient in the world uh, being cured once and for all so we can uh, safely you know hand in hand uh, walk on leaving a thalassemia condition uh, behind last question last question question seven do you have anything to say to blood donors uh, this type of question of course they will come out la. the website thing of course they don't want to block cars la. what I have to say I would like to say like even though you are uh, donating one pack of blood but that one pack of blood uh, is enough for us to survive uh, to live on for that uh, whole entire week so without your blood uh, donations we won't be able to get through that week so thanks a lot for donating blood regularly so precisely we have come to the end of this podcast hope you have a happy Lunar New Year festival for the Chinese and a happy holiday for everyone else. Thanks for watching and listening. Take care.